Hello. Hey, 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 hey. I got a question for you, okay? And I want yeah. you to... Are you all right? <laughs> that's the... Um, you know I drink wine three, four times Okay, today. okay. <laughs> and that's the problem. Now, <laughs> make... Are we going to have a serious conversation or what? Because all yes. this giggling? Okay. Yes. Okay. You, okay. Okay. Now, Mikaisha coming here talking about some you don't believe in marriage? That you, 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 you're you spreading false words talking about marriage is not important? Her being a wife is not important? Her getting pregnant? Come on now. Now, it's one thing now, hold on it's one thing if you want to throw your whole life in the toilet but don't you ever talk to my daughter telling her marriage is not important and being a wife is not important okay i don't know what you think you are or what you think you smoking on but you don't ever tell her nothing like that you now, hear me after nasty now you know i ain't told my niece nothing like that but well, that's what she said she's life. not gonna lie to me she is not gonna lie to me I told Mikaisha from my life, where I'm at in my life right now, marriage is not important. See, this is where she went wrong. She called her auntie on the phone, was very judgmental, telling me about how I should live my life, when I should go out. This baby ain't experienced nothing in life. She don't know how these men really are. You know I've been married before. I had the same mama, lived in the same house that you did, okay? Now, y'all take y'all holy roly self on to somebody that don't have no worldly experience and try to convince them, okay? Because I have had experience. And where I'm at in my life, I'm just not ready to be married. I like my life with Monet, my Monet, okay? Monet, you have daughters that's looking up to you, girl. You can't live like that. You cannot live going out here in the worldly world, drinking and stuff, and having your daughter. So when you out there, you have a man that's not even their father watching them. Do you know how I'm concerned about that? You come home all types of night drinking every day on the damn news. It's these men, their stepfathers, or whatever they call themselves, doing the most to these daughters. Now, and if that it, man, you know hold no on, hold on, Monet. If he is not proposing to you, he not getting married to you, you need to leave. Our parents did not raise us to just be Jezebels out here free wilding and doing everything else. He, so what, makes, what makes you think a husband don't have children? It ain't about the status. A father is not going to do that. A father is not going to do that. No, oh, no, Esther, no, 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 no. Oh, Esther, you are you sadly don't... mistaken. There are plenty of fathers no, no, out no, here that no, have their no, own children. No, no, no. More than likely, it's the stepfather. You, you, what? Girl, this man is disrespecting you. He got you living in his house. He doing a do with you. Y'all fornicating. And he don't want to put a ring on it. Mama didn't teach you to be like that. And yes. And yes. And it's affecting me. I have my daughter watching you. She looks up to you. Okay. So your actions affect your daughters. And they affect my daughter. And they affect me too. Because mama didn't raise us to be this way. It's so damn hurtful to see what you're doing and how you're going that's through the, stuff. It's the, one thing. That, it's one thing. That, you know what? You ain't never had. You ain't never. Had them, you know what? You. Don't you they talk bad. to me about that? Don't you? Don't you do? Don't you disrespect me? Okay? Because that's <laughs> not what the conversation about. It's time to get up and be wise and be smart. Because the way you're moving, it's horrible. Okay? I talked to Mick Kaisha early this morning. She woke up crying, mama, mama, mama. Oh, my God. I said, girl, what's going on? She told my son, I had a dream about Aunt Monet and the devil coming for her. And she is concerned about your soul. And that's sad as hell for a young girl to be concerned about the elders in her family when you're supposed to be the leading example. Okay, I said, well, listen, if God placed you in your heart to tell her to talk to her, then you do this, that. Okay, what? now she's coming you know, back talking about you. 
You my happiness is important too, and yes, I am the elder. You're selfish. You know what? You're selfish. You're selfish. You, you divorced that man. You divorced their father. You broke up the family. Okay, because you're selfish. I did. You're selfish, Monet. You're so yes, you are. I was tired of being a slave. I was tired of being beaten on. I was tired of being cheated on. Oh my god. We couldn't even go to the store without some woman knowing what my husband's look like. Everyone deserves to be happy. God don't want us in relationships that are not filled with joy peace and happiness lies 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 you understand god done bless you with two daughters if god did not want that union he would have never y'all would have never got married and he would never bless you with those kids those are a gift from him y'all were supposed to stay together and you know what money i'm tired of your pity party you so and you you such a damn victim you such a damn victim but your mouth and how you treated that man and your stuck up ass attitude like you was better than him you should have humbled yourself you could have fixed that marriage but you decide to throw it away because you're looking at your friends and seeing how they moving and stuff and you want to be like them and that's not the way to go mama didn't raise us to be that way well like you said mama didn't raise us to be that way and a leader is something I have always done. And now, I led my A woman right is not supposed to lead. Right a woman is not supposed to lead. A woman is not supposed to lead. Right a woman out. is not supposed to lead. You are not in leadership. You is not called for leadership. I don't know what's wrong with you girls out here thinking that you can lead and you, and you want to be this and you want to talk back and you want to. No, 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 no. That's not your place when it comes to a man. You respect him. The way I'm talking to you, when my husband comes, I don't talk to him like this. I don't have that tone to him like this. Okay? Esther, you, you, Esther you're raising your pressure. I can, I can hear it through the phone that your nah. pressure is being raised. You talk to your <laughs> husband just like you talk to your girlfriends, and that's disrespectful and it's you, wrong. And you Esther, wonder why he go upside your head. Esther, you may not get humiliated or have enough with all the kids that your husband has outside of your marriage well, it may you be know okay what? For you, you know what you know what if you want to go there i will hang up okay because it's about your soul on the line i am a strong black woman okay but i am a great wife to my husband to and you know what it's let me tell you, you. let me you tell you oh god. God. you oh god oh god oh god oh god oh god god knows my heart monet and he knows no my heart too. and let and me I'm tell you something you are, i am not i am not accountable for my husband's sins you hear me i am accountable for being a good wife and no matter what my husband does i stay loyal to my father above and being a wife you hear me well, i don't go to tit and tat he cheat then i cheat no you are my business monique she said it right monique thank you monique 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 with them damn bonnets you are my business just like she go around and them bonnets her business you mm. are my business I care your, about your soul. Your I care wrong. about your soul. You know what? I'm tired of this generation. Don't judge me. Somebody need to judge your ass. Your you need judgment. Wrong, Esther. And your, your behavior is wrong. wrong. Living. If you're my sister, you should feel you should no. feel me. We grew up in the same household together. We got baptized <sighs> on the same day. Where is your love at for me, Esther? You don't think this love? Huh? No, I no, care about those kids. I care about those innocent kids you got over there. Well, here, if you care about the kids, let me drop them off to your house tonight. Cause that's going fine. Tonight. That's fine. That is fine. And then you don't have to worry about them being with a childhood friend who we've known since elementary school. No, no. See, he, this is one thing about you, holy. Rolling. He's not marrying you. you, you that's guys, that's so you damn guys, disrespectful. He got you, you guys up in there. You forget about life. You no, guys forget about no. life. Mm -mm. You guys forget about life, and mm -hmm. you keep your head in the clouds too much. 
That's when you sad. need to, to look around and see what's going on in the world and mm-hmm. keep the whole armor on and learn how to approach people so that you can help them. But all this yelling and screaming and being <sighs> judgmental, that ain't, that's not going to help me. I can that's hear. not going to push me into any marriage. You drink I'm that- hurting. I'm hurting, Esther. I'm hurting from Your my kids first are family. hurting. Your kids is hurting. And you're drinking that devil juice. You can go to church, you can get it right, but you don't choose to. You are staying, you're living in sin. Do you understand that? that? You are living in sin. You're living in sin. You're living in sin. It's not helping the community like they're supposed to do. I'm not going back in that church. I'm so happy COVID happened and dismantled all You don't want to do right. I'm not going to do right. All right. Well, you know what? I'm done to having this conversation. Okay, you've been warned. You've been warned. And that's sad that you're willing to give your kids up because you want to live a worldly life because you don't want to be a wife. You don't want to have your purpose. That's sad. That is sad. And where they daddy at? Where they daddy at? Huh? You don't you always running these men away. (laughs) It's something wrong with you. You don't know how to be a nice, submissive, friendly wife. Ooh, I hate that word, submissive. You don't know? Oh, That's your purpose. Even, That's, embrace it. Embrace don't, don't it. understand that they are to submit to us just as much no, as we no, are. No, 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 no. You are a woman. You have to know your place. A man should never submit to you. That's not godly. And that's, that's out of order. That is not order. Well, the Bible that we both read said that they are supposed to love me the way Christ loved the church. And when you find the man that do that, then how get can, how can How can he love you when you're talking to him like you're a man? How can he love you when you got an attitude like he a man? This foreign to him. He can't love that. You need to check yourself. Well, maybe if he was a man, I wouldn't have to be one. Mm-mm. You okay. no 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 no. If he was no. leading by example, I wouldn't have to complain to him. It don't matter what, what he's, he's doing. doing. You are always there to support him, uplift him. You don't know your place. Oh no! no you see, no, no. the world has got you messed up. <laughs> this internet, this Instagram, got you messed these up. Men. These men not leading and taking on their roles no. like they're supposed to. See, they think they're supposed to do whatever they want to do out there in the streets and then come home and have somebody to be a slave to cook their meals. You don't see, you see it clothes. as a slave? You should be honored. You're My a goodness. wife. That's your purpose is to bear care, support, oh, no. and feed and nurture. You my, have to embrace who you are. That. You have to my embrace. Purpose. You're not embracing your true who you are. You have to embrace it. My purpose is much bigger than that. And Mother, you know what? The more one part of it. The more you don't embrace it, the more miserable you'll be. Okay? Who told you I was miserable? You drinking? You're not married. I'm not married because it's a choice. It's not like I haven't been married. No, he before. didn't. Uh, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't, He don't want to get. He don't want to marry you. Stop it. Stop. And it. that's fine. He don't want to marry what? you. And, and that is just fine with no, me. It's no, it's not. No, it's not. He don't want to make you an honorable wife. Me. And you okay with that? That's sad. That is just fine with me. That's but he sad. Want to be married because it's I'm fun. not in a place where I want to be married either. You know, and that's and we, sad. And we that's happy sad. over here. And that's unlike sad. your husband, mine's is my boyfriend is in bed with me every night. Mm. Okay. Um, so he's more of a husband than your pastor husband that you have over there. Okay. So, mm-hmm. You know, but, but if yeah, that makes you feel better. Me. Keep on, keep on praying for me. I will. I will, because you need it. I will take all the prayers that you have. All right. I'm not going to disrespect you, Esther. You already did. You did that. You made sure gonna, you did that. I'm not going to disrespect you. Okay. So. Okay. When you ready to come to me and talk to me about what's 
hurting me and work towards healing me as a sister. It's not about you. Christ. You know what? Monette, have a good night. It's not about you. Good night. Good night, Esther.